The Hebrew word for today is chai. Many of you may have seen the typical Israeli a necklace pendant that, that has chet yud, chai, a uh, very important word. It, it means live, alive. It's the basis for the root of life. There's a few important combinations that come from a chai that we use all the time. For instance, chai v'kayam, alive and well, chai v'bo'et, alive and kicking, and chai v'seret, which is a slang for, it, it means somebody who's living in a, in a movie, but it's kind of a, a slang for somebody who has a very developed imagination and they're, 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 they're kind of out there, uh, you know, uh, disconnected from reality in some way in life. And so the question is, are you chai v'kayam, living in well, chai v'bo'ed, living in, kick, alive and kicking, or chai v'seret, you know, living in an imaginary world? I asked this question to my children over the weekend, and, uh, and each one said, you know, what they thought they were, and they said, Abba, you're definitely alive and kicking. Another combination we use is Shidur Chai, which is a live broadcast. So if something is coming to you in a live broadcast, whether it's news or sports, we say Shidur Chai. Some of you I know when you're barbecuing like to uh, eat your steaks very raw. It's interesting because the word in Hebrew for raw meat is Basar Chai. Uh, which is like alive meat. So, you know, we, we joke sometimes that, you know, I have friends, I say your, your steak is about to crawl off your plate. You know, it's so, it's so, uh, it's so raw. I, I prefer things medium well myself. But basal uh, chai is, is raw meat. Another derivative, a uh, very important derivative from chai is chaim, which is the plural. When you add yud mem on the end of a word, chai becomes chaim, and that's the word we use for life, chaim. Uh, I'm reminded of, of a scripture uh, in the New Testament that, that says that God wants to give us life and life more abundantly. Chaim be'chayeh shefa, chaim be'shefa, important word. Another important word that comes from chai is animal. Animal is chaya. A wild animal would be chayat bal. Just another little insight from Hebrew culture is that each of our numbers actually has a letter that represents them. So our number 18 is Yud Chet, which the mirror image of that is Chet Yud, which is Chai. For this reason, at a lot, at like Israeli events, say at a, a, a bar mitzvah or a wedding or some kind of other event where you're going to give somebody a gift, a lot of people, a lot of times people will write checks that, that are uh, a derivative of, of the number 18. So. A, a, you know, an $18 check or 180 or, or 1,800, and they say because of chai, because we want to give something that, that's supporting uh, life. Just a little Israeli idiosyncrasy. And the last word that comes from uh, the root chai is tchiyah. Tchiyat metim. Tchiyah is resurrection. Tchiyat metim is resurrection of the dead. Many people who believe in the Bible believe in, in a, a physical resurrection. In business and in life and family, I always say that, that it, it's much easier to kill something than to resurrect it, right? So before you decide to declare bankruptcy or get a divorce or make some, some kind of decision to kill something that's alive today, remember that resurrecting it will be much more difficult. In fact, I think only God can resurrect anything. So uh, with that, I, I wish everybody uh, life and life more abundantly. Chaim v'chaim b'shefa. Thank you. There are many small businesses in Israel that are creating amazing products that never make it to the shelves of the store where you shop. Unfortunately, there's an insidious campaign growing around the world calling to boycott Israel. And the, these small business owners see their potential market shrinking from day to day. What can we do about this? So Arise exists to make meaningful connections between friends like you in the international community and the economy of Israel. When you sign up to become a member of the Arise Alliance, we will send you on a quarterly basis a gift box filled with cosmetic products, culinary products, fashion products, amazing stuff made in Israel. Your family's gonna love this. Your favorite time every quarter is gonna be to stand around and discover what did you receive this quarter from Israel. And it's just a great way to weave Israeli products and the reality of Israel into your everyday life. Make sure you become a member today and help support small businesses and create jobs in Israel. Thank you.